Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, what do we got running here? I'm going to call this the Rat Rod 250. What I did was I got a matching set of back tires on it. I moved one of the back tires to the front. This is the seized one. It's been sitting here for a couple of years. Bought it from a family friend. And uh, turns out it unseized. I just had to put a wrench to the old crank. I rebuilt an OEM carburetor. Its carburetor was pretty trashed. I got my portable CDI on it, my miniature gas tank. Um, the suspension appears to be pretty good, right? Yeah, let's take it out for a little romp. Now that I know it a little better, and I got decent tires on it, I think my batteries are dying in my CDI box. I got rope falling off. I got a whole mess going on here. Yep, it just fell off. Yeah, I got to put a new set of batteries in my CDI box. Yeah, when I open it up, it doesn't have enough batteries to keep the spark going. I hope I don't have to walk all the way down here with a load of batteries. By the way, my experience with those Harbor Freight batteries, they're really not very good. You know, the ones you get uh, 24 to the box for the double A's. Yeah, you guys should recognize this. This is where the golf cart got stuck. This has bigger tires, and the back wheels are obviously keyed together. Get you guys out for a lot more rides. Hope you guys enjoy that. This uh, the seat really isn't latched on. So even if the uh, CDI was behaving, I can't go too crazy. So I'm driving it one-handed. And with a loose seat, that combo is a good way to end up on your on your butt. Yeah, the thing shifts sweet. Oh, look at this, the car moved. Do I fit? Nope. Not quite. Almost made it. Hawk. 
This thing even has a new home now. We're even going to put it there. How's that for some fancy driving? There we are. So she seems she seems to run nice. I'm uh, I'm pleased with it. Ugh. Harvey has a tough time climbing on and off things, especially when his uh, coveralls get caught up. Uh, so. I turn the steering a little bit and give it a little push. Looks like the doors will close. All right, now guys, when I can't find my portable CDI box, where is it? Ah, there it is. My new ramp. My door holders. There we go. Check this out. Looks like it belongs in there. As I'm fixing these things up, I don't want to leave them like out in the weather anymore. Little things happen, like once you get them running, and then you don't use them those mud grubs or whatever the heck it is, the things that build the nests or lay eggs in those in small holes, well they make a mess out of carburetors and all. Well I'm happy that's up on three tires. Next I want to get this thing up on all three tires. And I just about have enough space to start on the Lakota right once this is up on all three tires and I could just roll that and the golf cart out of the way I got the Lakota I got space to work on the Lakota and I almost have I almost have bench space getting there and then um, then I could pull this engine apart uh, I guess my thoughts are what I want to do is find out what's wrong with it so if I have to order parts I can I anticipate having to order a head for it and I guess the Lakota 300 and the Bayou 300 use the same head and um, they seem to go for somewhere around 100 to 150 bucks probably to get that thing back on the on the road back to uh, running condition it's probably going to cost me I'm probably going to have to put another couple of hundred bucks into it. So my son picked it up for, what did he pay for it back then? 240 Under 300 Let's say by the time I'm done, I have 400 bucks in the Lakota. That'll be a real nice bike for 400 bucks, Right? It'll be a, it'll be a good bike to, uh, to add to the hoard. Yeah, when it comes to four-wheelers, I got that 4x4 four four four-wheeler over there, the 350, uh, the Foreman 350. Then there'll be this Lakota, which is a two-wheel drive. Then there'll be the, um, the TRX 300. or the four tracks 300 whatever you want to call it so that'll be a that'll be a few um, a few different four wheels to beat about on plus the others you know the 200 the, the TRX 200 and the TRX uh, the TRX 200 and the TRX 200 SX so yeah there's quite a few quads floating around and the golf cart all right, I think I've gotten myself tired for today. 
I hate changing tires. I hate messing with tires. I hate everything that comes to do with tires. Um, I did manage to get that one off. I already shot a video of it. So, All right, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now.